The Rehab Leadership Framework provides an evidence-informed and practical structure that can guide us in the development of strategies to improve leadership effectiveness as rehabilitation professionals. The Rehab Leadership Framework is generally divided into three sections. The first and intersection refers to personal values and beliefs. Now, values and beliefs are the deep expressions of what is most important to us. They tend to be established early in life and are influenced by our upbringing, lived experience, culture, religion, and other stimuli. Values and beliefs are the unseen aspects of our person that influence our decisions, thoughts, and interactions, and often go unspoken, operating well beneath the surface. Now, with impactful life experiences, such as trauma, our values and beliefs may shift and evolve, yet often they remain fairly consistent throughout our lives. When explicitly understood, our values and beliefs help to explain our preferences, strengthen self-awareness, and exert a powerful influence over our leadership effectiveness. Building off of values and beliefs, the middle or second section refers to emotional intelligence. Now, emotional intelligence, or EI, can be defined as the way in which we recognize, understand, and manage our emotions or those of others. It's the way in which we express our thoughts, develop and maintain social relationships, cope with challenges, and use emotional information in an effective and meaningful way. Now, our emotional intelligence dramatically affects the way in which we show up in social or interpersonal situations, and ultimately impacts the quality of our relationships. Now, not surprisingly, the quality of our relationships is directly linked to our success. So the first two sections of the Rehab Leadership Framework focus on the strengthening of our inner foundation or leadership footings. It is on these footings that we can then begin to develop technical leadership skills. These leadership skills can only grow and mature when they rest on a firm foundation of personal values, beliefs, and emotional intelligence. Now think about a building or a house that is built on a shaky or unstable foundation. The beauty of the home's architecture is essentially meaningless if the house is unsteady or begins to collapse. Or to use a physical therapy analogy, think about the importance of focusing on core stability before moving on to distal strength training. Distal activities without core stability inevitably leads to both pain and dysfunction. It's the same with leadership. These seven leadership skills have been extracted from the literature as key attributes of a successful leader in rehabilitation. Each one focuses on a uniquely important aspect of our leadership performance and contributes to our overall effectiveness as a leader in rehabilitation. The rehab leadership approach begins with focusing on the core stability of personal values, beliefs, and emotional intelligence. From there, we shift to developing the more peripheral and visible technical leadership skills. This approach has been proven to lead to optimal leadership performance time and time again. I hope that this short video has helped you to understand the Rehab Leadership Framework. I look forward to diving in with you. Thanks for watching.